Our business is Bricktown Brewing Company. Uh, we're a full on-premise brewery with a uh, five barrel brewing system and we also feature a full restaurant. The business consists of myself and Scott Parker. My dad and I home brewed together for about 14 years before we started Bricktown. We brew uh, right now 13 different styles. In the past we have brewed uh, probably about 30 different styles total, but those are seasonals and tend to go away. The ones that we're really known for um, are seem to be our IPAs, and namely we're a Gunslinger Double IPA, which is a very bold 9% beer um, that is also very hoppy and seems to be a Pacific Northwest favorite are the double IPAs. Um, we also brew from one end of the spectrum to the other, you could do a cream ale. We do a light cream ale beer, it's called Blue Collar Cream. It's a light body, golden Pilsner-like beer, uh, or lager-like beer, up to a very dark Russian Imperial Stout that sits at 11%. Um, in the middle we have a uh, porter, we use French oak chips. They're chipped up French oak barrels, and they are actually not used barrels. They are fresh, and uh, we soak them in Pendleton whiskey, and then we add that back to the secondary fermentation phase of the uh, porter. We call it Whiskey Canyon Porter. It's got a nice porter roastiness to it with a very mild hint of whiskey and oak flavor. It's not overdone, it's just in the back notes. And it's a good beer and it sells quite well also. The largest advantage of using the oak chips versus a barrel is storability. And since we're downtown, we really have no area to store barrels. A barrel is about 60 gallons and you have to have barrel racks to really store them in a smaller space. And you should have a forklift, which we have neither of those, and we don't have the space for it. So it's easier for us to store the chips and use them. Also with chips, we're guaranteed a consistency of flavor. You know, sometimes you may only have Cabernet barrels that are available, or maybe uh, maybe uh, the different whiskeys, like uh, what's that, Wild Turkey. You know, you can get wild turkey barrels sometimes, and you can get uh, Jack Daniels barrels sometimes, but then I think you compromise your consistency of your beer, because your beer will taste different, depending on which barrel it's in. Those will have infections in that you don't necessarily know about. So we have done barrel aging in the past, and what we did is we used a steamer, and we steam cleaned them out, but that also extracted some of the flavors that you want, which is kind of unfortunate. So we've just learned that for consistency and storability reasons, oak chips are completely the way to go. There are American oak chips and French oak chips. Um, we find that the toastiness and the almost nutty-like flavors are more imparted from the French oak. So I hate to use the term dirty, but it's almost like they're a dirtier oak. Uh, more earthy, more ashy. Uh, the American oak is a cleaner, so if you're going for a cleaner beer with maybe a cleaner profile, so um, like you can imagine, I would see, if you were to use them in wines, I would see your red wines would really, because they're kind of a dirtier wine, they would benefit from the French oaks, whereas a wider, a cleaner wine might benefit from the American oak, and it's kind of the same morph into beer, Then your cleaner beers, um, you would use a cleaner oak with. There's not only chips, but there's also spirals. So they sell this uh, spiral that comes in different lengths, and it basically just looks like a large screw. And you can put it in your kettle or your vat, um, your fermentation vessel, and it will have multiple uses. You can get about two to three uses out of it. Um, and we have not experimented with that yet. Um, we're kind of reserving the spirals for larger batches of beer. Um, right now we do five barrels, which is about 155 gallons at a time. Um, we're going to be uh, doing, moving our brewery off to an industrial site where we're going to be doing 30 barrels at a time, which is 900 gallons a year. 
and at that point we're going to be using the spirals. Snow palette, I like a very oaky wine, mm -hmm. so I'll actually seek out a wine that's real oaky, and I do the same thing with beer. I'll try to find ones that are overly oaked, and uh, Anderson Valley's uh, Oak Stout is a prime example of a really oaky uh, beer. And I know a lot of people that think it's got too much, way too much oak. It, it shadows too much of the beer flavors. For me, I like it. If I'm going for an oak beer, I want an oak aged beer. I want it to have some oak to it.